Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, July 25th, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Psalms 103, reading from verse 1 to 5. And it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his holy words and the message is clear to us this morning here the servant of the lord is giving god worship and giving god thanks because he understood how god has been good to him and if anyone know how god has been good to him is david because if we examine the life of David and this story, we can see God protection constantly on his life. God is constantly there with him every step of the way. And when he falls out of line, God is there to draw him back in, in line, so to speak. Now, he says that, his soul magnify or bless the Lord. He gives God worship. His soul cannot, he cannot forget all the benefits that comes with worshiping God and serving God. And the same goes for us today. We cannot forget all that God has given unto us or given to those who are faithful to him. We can't forget what God can and will do on our behalf. How can we? God is the one that woke us up this morning. God is the one that provides our need. He provides our breakfast this morning. And he's going to provide our lunch today. And he will provide our supper in the afternoon. He's going to keep us safe throughout the day. And so we have that confidence that God will take care of us. And if we believe and know that God will take care of us, how can we put God aside? How can we forget God? That wouldn't be right. It's almost like we are signing our own death sentence because from the reading, we can see that only God can keep us safe. We can't keep ourselves safe and nothing else can keep us safe except God. It says that God, he redeemed our life from destruction Many of us can give a test to that. We were going down a road that has no positive ending. And God snatched us out of that path. And he put us on the right path. The path to life. And we are here today because of his love. Because of his kindness. And because of his tender mercies towards us. It's not that we love him, you know but is that he love us and the scripture says that he gave himself right as a sacrifice in order that he might save us so he fell in love with us first before he, we even thought about falling in love with him what a god what unselfishness that is presented here 
he says that he will he satisfy our mouth with good things haven't god been blessing you look at your life now and i know many of you may be tempted to believe that okay god is not doing anything for me god is not blessing me the way i want to be blessed i'm still financially struggling i still don't have a house i don't have a car and my health is somehow deteriorating but i will tell you this morning that you can't be narrow-minded and put god in a box because in spite of your situation you have to ab admit that you are alive right now don't you believe that is a blessing of course it is and i'm sure you can find a lot more aside from you being alive and how do you think you get those things or come by those things do you think that they just fell out of thin hair so god has been blessing you but the thing with god is that he does things in stages and a lot of times he does that in order that he might teach us a lesson or help us to grow spiritually he always had to have a plan and so don't and so don't put god in the category of a man a man who will forget us a man who will not keep his promises man who does things for selfish reason god is not like man god does not think like man god is higher than man and every single day our experience with god is it should be different and the reading said that he bless us with good things so that each day it's a fresh experience it's something new so god don't give still gift but a lot of these things we must understand they come with our surrendering to god hmm? and this is not a blackmail and this is not a bribe but it's just the way it is meaning that it's a part of the whole experience of him. so he's not able to separate it from himself it's who he is and so naturally if you and i want to experience a lot of these things and mind you there are still a lot of blessings to be experienced even when we are not serving god but a lot of those is just because he's a loving god and a lot of those is because he's been patient with us but he doesn't expect us to remain in those condition to keep receiving and not giving so yes god bless everyone because he said that he sends the rain upon the just and the unjust but if you want to experience the fullness of god and the bountiful blessing that he wants to give and he can give if you want to experience the power of healing the power of transformation the power of love the power of forgiveness and the list goes on then you cannot experience those things outside of god it's not possible it's not possible and god will not change himself to suit us we must change so that we can come up to where he needs us to be 
And so this morning, my encouragement to you is give God the praise that is due to his name. Don't forget what God has been doing for you. Don't forget him. Don't forget the sacrifice he made on Calvary because he has been there for us from the moment we came into this world. In fact, before we even came into this world, when we were just in the womb, God was there with us, protecting us, making sure that we have a healthy life in the womb. And he continues to do so for us, even up until now. So may God continue to bless us. May God continue to lead us and give us wisdom and help us to surrender to him. Not a part of our hearts, but all of our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen.